Hi there, this is Fixed It. Welcome to part two, how to make an Anki Vector charger from a Cosmo charger. If you haven't seen part one, click on the link above. So in part one, I showed how I 3D printed this Anki Vector charger shell from ABS. As we saw in part one, it's in two sections, a top and a bottom. And if we dismantle an Anki Cosmo charger, we should be able to transplant the electrical contacts, the circuit board thereon, and the cable directly from that charger into the new vector charger. Okay, so I've taken this apart, and there's the base that I printed, and here's the top. And as you can see, the base is set out such that it can take a cable tie at the back which in fact is that one there on the Cosmo. So let me dismantle this Cosmo charger. As with a lot of these devices, the screws are actually hidden under the rubber feet. So if we just lift up the rubber feet, you can see the screws are there. When you take off the rubber pads, make sure that you put them somewhere safe because you'll either want to stick them back on this Anki Cosmo charger or possibly stick them onto the new Vector charger. I've just realized that there are only screws under these two pads, which are directly below the cable. So let me unscrew those. Okay, so having undone those screws, if I just gently lift that, you'll see the whole charging piece with the gold connectors on it lift straight out. What we should now be able to do is to slot that in there. Let me just see if it works. Okay, that piece goes in there quite nicely. And then see if the top will go in place. Okay, so there's the two gold contacts. So I'll quickly just screw that together and then we'll give it a test before I screw it up completely <laughs> literally okay so let me just plug the other end into a USB power and hope nothing goes bang and now hopefully when I sit vector on it there we have it vectors now charging let me just get a Cosmo to make sure Cosmo still charges Okay, so take Vector off there and put Cosmo on, and you can see Cosmo's now charging as well. And Vector's switched on, so after what she doesn't dive off the table. Hello, Vector. All right, Vector. Oh, oh. Luckily, you've fallen backwards. Okay, so now that's now a dual charger for Cosmo and Vector and Vector's getting very very upset now because he's stuck. Vector! Hi Vector! Hi Vector! Are you stuck? Yes he is. He's definitely stuck. Yes he is. Okay so I'll screw this together. The other thing I'm going to do with this actually is just unscrew this and I'm going to put some weight in the bottom because at the moment this is pretty light which means that Vector will push it around. But I'll put a link in the description um, to this 3D print if you want to print it yourself, if you've got a 3D printer. Um, and all you need is a Cosmo charger, the 3D printed parts, and then obviously you can make a dual charger uh, without having to go and spend £60, £70 pounds on a vector charger. I hope you like the video and that you subscribe to my channel. And that you check out all my other robot and other videos, including a lot of money saving tips. Thanks for watching. Bye.